Hello and welcome to this video. This is another hardware video looking at the new additions to my PC tower, to my PC uh, rig. Yeah, and as you can see, um, I have now another motherboard, a newer motherboard, which is a 970A SLI Kurt, Kurt edition from MSI. And on top of it is a internal card reader um, <clears throat> and this I th think is a, is a uh, generic card reader made by um, I think it's made by scan actually and uh, yeah so anyway let's have a look at this card reader so um, the box out. so you have So that's uh, that's the card reader. So as we can see, we have um, oh, we have uh, compact flash storage port. We have a USB 2.0, uh, a T T flash M2, um, a inter oh a uh, little micro SD. I think it is. And oh gosh, this is really bad. This, yeah, and a standard SD MMC slot, and above it is an MS MS Duo slot. So uh, yeah, so it's a very stand, very um, um, piece of standard equipment, and it's just got a three pin. Um, so it's got a um what's it seven pin yep so it's seven pin uh connector for the for the motherboard so yeah so i will be inserting that into the tower um in in the next uh you know in a soon so yep anyway right cool. and uh just to for specs those are the specs, so it's made by Computer Essentials, and it is a one-in-one -one internal card reader, FDC0004, and it is one-in-one -one internal card reader, reads most common media types, it's external USB port, 1.1 standard supported, one point. Uh, sorry, USB 1.1 standard supported, um, USB 2.0, up to 4, 4, 480 megabytes per second transfer speed, plug and play, uh, provides power internal, USB powered on external USB supply needed, um, obviously the colour's black, and there's the measurements and as you can see it's um, well, hang on. as you may see those are the um, so it works for hang on. it works for XP Windows Vista Windows 7 Windows 8 and Windows 10 and it's a USB right sorry about uh, the uh, the um, fading of the um, of the focus there, right? And more importantly, let's move on to the motherboard. This is a USB three point three point one AMD board, so it's an AM three. So it's uh, yep. So it's SLI Crossfire FX, and it's got uh, it's uh, Series nine chip. And uh, yep, it's made by MSI, and that's the that's the uh, uh, the model. So right, so let's have a look at this board. This is the first time opening this board, so um, but most of them are pretty standard anyway. Um, and the reason why I've been get why I got this board is because I because I've had quite a lot of um, problems 
with the uh, Gigabyte board, as many of you may may know from previous videos. Um, right, hang on. And uh, whoa, that's nice. Yep. So as you can see, that's the layout of it. So we've got all the capacitors, the the chips there. We've got four. Um, DDR3 slots. We've obviously got the AM plus three, uh, sorry, the AM3 plus chipset. Um, and we have all the external ports here. So we have um, PS2 connectors there, um, USB 2.0, four USB 2.0. We have um, oops, we have USB 3.0. Um, I think one of these are 3.1, but I haven't checked on the manual yet. And we have more USB um, ports there with an Ethernet cable with an Ethernet port and also the audio. So, um, right, and there's the uh, the PCI Express ports so we have two PCI Express ports we have a PCI th PCI port as well and we have a PC1 PC11 slot there and we have a PC12 slot so um, and there's the heatsink for the chip and that's uh, I think it's another chip under there there's obviously a RAM we've got another heatsink there we've got all these oh yeah that's that's the PCI uh, 3.0 uh, PCI 3.1 if I can say that one right and we've got obviously all the fan the fan connectors one there we have obviously the USB so we have all that oh there's the USB there's one two three and I think that is what is that I'm not sure what that is but that's probably um, some sort of um, port for the uh, for water cooling or something and there's the 3.0 front, front panel port. And uh, yep, there's another there's another uh, pin out pin out socket. And there's another one. And there's another one. So there's plenty of pin out sockets on there. And as you can see, there's another fan system pin out. Um, these are all the chips and all the all the heat um, chips and and other components. Um, that's obviously the power connector. That's the main power connector. And uh, yep, there's the CPU fan connector. And we've got um, where's the other one? Oh, there's the CPU power connector. So right, so yes, I'm gonna start um, putting in this board pretty soon. Uh, just thought I'd run through it while it's uh, while it's out in the box. Um, what else have we got in here now? So we've got standard stuff like the CD-ROM. Got the CD-ROM. You got obviously the manual to how to install it, quick install guide. You got the back plate. Yeah, that's always important. And last but not least, you've got these SATA cables for the for the um, for the hard drives and CD-ROMs. And then you've got the lovely illustrated manual. So yeah. And uh, yeah, so um, hopefully I'll have a. That's a nice. That's a really nice design. That's the reason why I bought the board. I love that Cobra design. Um, yeah. So uh, this hopefully I will get more um, more usage out of it. Um, hopefully more than a couple of days. And uh, just quick sort of. Um, Just a quick sort of run through the back, and uh, these are the uh, these are the stats. So it's got a 3.1, and uh, it's got a military class four 
um, power st stability unit and it's got a multi uh, GPU SLI crossfire feature 3.1 so 3.0 front port and uh, there's the uh, the screenshots of the BIOS I think or the uh, sorry RAM disk utility that's the features that it's got so it's a genuine OC gen uh, sorry OC gen 4 uh, live live update 6 which allows you to update the BIOS and other things M flash BIOS and uh, 6 gigabyte data a SATA um, hang on where's the say oh yeah there's the SATA there's the SATA cables so we've got four SATA uh, six cables six gigabyte and we've also got these SATA cables which is good because the only sometimes with these gaming boards is they usually put low all the SATA cables really hard to hard to reach like down here which is fine when you when you're trying to show the board off but it's it can be a bit of a nightmare when you're building the system and uh, yeah so anyway uh, that's the that's the uh, the uh, the information of the specification so if you would like to pause the video at this specific time you are welcome to so there's one set of um, specifications so we've got this uh, CPU support CPU socket chipset memory supported it does support up to 2133 at uh, 32 gigabytes max but uh, you need you don't really need that much I've I've never built a system that's that much mine's only a 16 gig DDR3 and I I rarely use all the RAM anyway um, two PCI Express slots slots um, <laughs> Um, six times SATA six gigabyte ports, two USB two point uh, three point zero three point one sorry two three point zero and twelve two point zero, which is nice and handy. And uh, whoops, sorry. And there's the LAN. So it's a ten one hundred one thousand megabit LAN, and it's an eight channel eight. Uh, 7.1 HD audio and uh, yeah so uh, that's the layout of the back panel the IO view and uh, yeah so I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be putting this in the system pretty soon and I hope to have um, have a bit more fun with it um, right so I will be uploading another video pretty soon of this and um, and I'm hoping that it runs quite well, so we, we will see in the next video. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video at the new hardware that I've managed to install, um, managed to buy. I've just bought it now, so um, I'm going to have a quite good night trying to trying to install this. Right. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on another video. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.